First ladies of Honduras and Guatemala visit the Rio Grande Valley this morning discussing ways with the Department of Homeland Security to prevent the mass migration of undocumented immigrants coming from Central America. Our Joanna Guzman has more on how both governments plan to stop this flow. The First Ladies of Guatemala and Honduras visit key points for migrants like the Catholic Charities Respite Center this morning following an invitation from Kevin McLeanan, acting U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security. The three met to discuss ways both the U.S. and Central America can work together to stop the massive flow of immigrants. <laughs> The First Lady of Guatemala, Ildia Patricia Marroquin de Morales, says Guatemala already has a prevention campaign in place, warning migrants about the dangers along the border, but is also preparing a camp where their citizens will soon be able to find jobs and enroll in school to start a career, all in hopes to keep Central Americans in their home country. First Lady of Honduras, Ana Garcia de Hernandez, saying although migrants are warned about the dangers of crossing illegally, the country has seen a massive increase in men traveling with children never before seen. Guatemalan officials saying there are 20 Guatemalan consulates in the United States with seven of them already printing passports for migrants within an hour for them to have proper documentation in the U.S. In McAllen, I'm Joana Guzman, Local 23 News. Sister Norma Pimentel says the special visit from both First Ladies made migrants feel welcomed and happy to know that someone cares for their well-being.